Want to see cool magic trick? <laughs> Look at Clawfield Elf over there. Hey man, hate the bricks, don't hate the builder. Do an acapella thing, you know? Uh, oh, you know, maybe I suck building these things and that's why they're falling apart on me. Van Damme splits right there. Jean-Claude Van Damme. And just like that, we're back here. Tyler's in school, that means I have a little bit more time to cut videos for you guys. I'm a little teapot, short and spout. This is my handle, this is my spout. Yeah, I, I know, but you know. No. Hey, hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and look at all these right here in front of me. We're gonna pile these out for this video today. So the set that you see here is actually part of Godzilla, the King of Monsters. I have not watched a film yet. I have it. I haven't had time to check it out. Now, just looking at these guys right here, they look nothing like they do in the film. Even this guy, I'm, I doubt he's in the film. I'm being spoiler free, so I have no idea. But anyway, I'm doing this for you guys. A lot of you have been requesting for me to review these, and we do sell a couple of these kind of mech guys on the store. Not a lot. Pacific Rim, anybody? They have some issues. We'll go through them as we look at these one by one. Now, if you really wanted to know, these four are actually legitimate licensed Godzilla, King of Monsters from the film. Now, this may be only intended for the China market. I'm just letting you know that these are legit. Too legit. Too legit. Quick. How should we do this? Should we start like with the biggest one? No, let's save the biggest for last. Let's start with the size. Let's go super, super small. We'll start with this little guy right here first. You ready? You ready? Yeah, dear, you ready? Oh, that was scary. Okay, check it out. So this is Sluban's mini Godzilla from King of the Monsters. B0761A, 180 pieces. Look at your little baby Godzilla. You like it, dear? I guess he's not talking in this one. Funny enough, out of all these guys, he kind of looks the best because he looks like Godzilla, like a cute version of Godzilla. He's really small. Now this little guy is actually pretty sturdy. He looks really good. And let me just warn you guys, man, as we get to the bigger guys, they will fall apart on you. It's just the way they're built. There's a lot of like single studs and single pieces that click in. They will fall apart on you. And I think other brands have done it. And I heard even the Lego stuff, like Molten Men, Easy to fall apart. Is that just a mech thing? I have no idea. But anyway, let's look at this guy first. He looks so cute. His head can move up and down like that. And his mouth can open and close. His little feet are on a little ball joint that can kind of move him around. So you can kind of like move him, pose him a little bit. His tail is on a hinge. So it kind of moves up and down, but you can pose like that. And the arms are really simple. They're just like these pieces that you know what they are. You've seen them before. You're using them as hands here. You see, that's a perfect example right there. A lot of these pieces can just slide out because they're just like sliding in. They don't really have like that's real true clutch or they're just not built properly, especially like these little spiky parts on the back of the tail. They can pop off really easy. And speaking of spikes, I really like this transparent blue piece there on the tail, the little spikes. That's pretty cool. But there he is, that's mini Godzilla. What's cool is it actually comes with two set of eyes. I don't know where the other eyes are. I put them somewhere, I can't find them, but you can see them here in the manual, which is really small, by the way. It's only 180 pieces. So he has circle eyes and he has these eyes, which is like evil eyes. But if you flip the evil eyes upside down, he looks all dopey. He's like, like that. But you know, I can actually just take one eye out and turn it around here. So there he is, super angry, like, and we turn him this way and he's like, all right, so that's mini Godzilla. I actually think he's pretty cute. And these should be available on BrickMeUpScotty.com. Been available for a while, but you know what? I can never tell these brands. They just suddenly say not available, and I'm stuck with that. But anyway, here he is. Pretty cool. I like it. I think it's the best one, just because it won't fall apart on you. If I do a little chop test like this here. See that? But like you saw earlier, some pieces just might come off really easy. So you have to be careful. The back of the head, yeah, see, stuff like that. It's just not built. I don't know what it is. It's been happening in every single brand, every robot I have built. All right, slide him out of the way. There you go. Bye-bye, Mini Godzilla. So we got this one here, which is the next biggest one. This is Sluban's Rodan from Godzilla King of Monsters. B0786, 263 pieces. Here's a booklet. It's a little bit bigger, and it's more like a booklet now. It's not like the other one, which was a fold-out. There you go. That's what the manual looks like. 
very easy and simple to read. So Rodan, let's check you out, huh? He looks the least interesting to me because he just looks really super simple. Okay, let's look at the build first. We'll start with his head. His head kind of drops. It's a little bit top heavy. So he goes, <coughs> I like his eyes. The eyes look really cool. And he does have a little mouth right there. It's a real simple piece. Three horns on the top. The sides, he has like these little pieces that act as scales. And then you got his body, which is really simple. This is a very simple build, by the way. Legs do articulate. And you have these bigger ball joints for the legs, which actually move around pretty good. Now the feet and the toes, they can pop off pretty easy. So you do have to be careful with that. Remember that Jean-Claude Van Damme commercial? Where it goes like that. Does the splits. He's doing it. All right. See, I'm popping his feet off already. Those were part of the Oxford block, which I'm going to review next for you guys. So there you go. That was your sneak peek. Everything articulates, which is good and bad. That means it can fall apart really easy. His legs can pull out just like that, and it's easy to fall apart. So these are, for me, just display, man. Don't even touch them after you put them together, because they will get loose and they'll fall apart. I've seen it with every brand so far that I've touched that has been a mech. There goes his feet again. Then goes his knee again. You see, it's all falling apart on me. Yeah, I'm just being real with you, man. If you're gonna have kids to play with the stuff, mm, not a good idea. Yeah, look at the wings. I like the wings. They're using this plastic thing. Does Lego do that still? I'm not sure. But I like the material. I think it's actually pretty cool. It folds, it's flexible, it's easy to put on. Nothing like bad or anything. And there's like a structure under the wings there. Yes, looks like a moth. Speaking of moth, where's moth or man? Then you got the tail bit in the end here. And yeah, it looks like a lot of little pieces can fall off this. So you do have to be a little bit careful. Yeah, what do you guys think? Cool? Not cool? Good? Yeah, can't really twist the neck. It's gonna just pop up. It's just on hint a single hinge there. Let's just do a drop test. because I know it's gonna fall apart. <laughs> hey, that was kind of surprising. Okay, I'm not gonna do it anymore. I know he'll fall off the next one. Pieces probably got loose there. What I am gonna do is play with it like I'm a kid. Because you want to see what's going to fall off while I'm playing with it, right? So if I'm going to be really rough with it, the wing can move up and down like that. And you want to make, maybe move his neck like that and be like open his mouth and close. Or you want to articulate his legs and, and do a little bit of walk. There goes one leg. Oh, the other leg's holding up still. Oh, uh, so you see, let's see. Oh, see, that part pops off pretty easy. Going, daddy, daddy, look at my Rodan, it's going to fly. Yeah, is that cool? Oh, daddy, it, it, it's breaking on me already. That's not how Tyler talks to me. Look, you can pose him pretty cool. He's like, yeah, boy. Somebody stop me. I can play with this all day, man. So we might as well get to the next one, yeah? So Rodan, I'm going to put you aside. Is there anything else that moves? Oh, these little flat things here move. So the feet is actually falling off a lot. So they could have like built a little bit more to flatten it out or extend it and like click them together with other parts. So it holds on. You're going to see that a lot. Oh, the big boy is coming out to play. For a lot of you, this one's probably gonna be the main one. So this is Sluban's Godzilla. From Godzilla, King of the Monsters, B0783, 697 pieces. Oh, I just realized the last one's actually a little bit smaller than Godzilla, but he looks much more bigger. That doesn't matter. Check it out. Does it look like it wants to fall over? Yeah, man. Look at this thing. Oh. What did they do to his head? Oh man. Godzilla fans out there, you're laughing at his head. And just I know you're laughing at him. You're just like, oh, what did they do to him? They butchered his head. It would almost be better if they took this mini Godzilla's head and just put him on top of there. Oh, let's just look at the head while we're at it. The head does move up and down. This set has a lot of pieces that will look like they fall apart, but it is on a ball head, so you can kind of twist his head and be like, how you doing? He's a little bit harder to pose because everything's gonna fall off him. I can guarantee you that. The shoulder pads, and it's actually a lot like the Predator series. Do you hear that? It's actually a lot like the Predator series Luban made. They're, they're kind of basing it off of that skeleton. So if you haven't watched the Predator series, which is actually pretty good, they're up here. Now, shoulder pads, the knees, the legs, arms, looks too mechanical. Really looks like more of a robot. So this is really more like mech style. So you can see me articulate his arms so you guys can See that? So if you want to pose him, there, see? It fell off just because these pieces are all loose. So if you're going to ask my opinion, 
or like you want to buy sets like this on the store and be like, is it playable? Is it not play? I'm going to tell you right now, they are not playable. Like don't play with these toys. They're strictly display or remock them so that they're more sturdy for you. If you're going to buy them for your kids. Good luck, man. The hands here are on ball joints, but you move them too much, they will pop off. So you have to be careful there. And it had like gears on his arms there. That's kind of interesting. But I do like the front here, the body are actually starting to look like a monster. So that looks pretty cool. And one thing though, I'm really surprised and I really enjoy and I like it, the back here. I think that actually looks really cool, man, the detail on it, but it falls off all the time. This back part right here, it's kind of supposed to be in an angle, but doing that makes it pop off really easy. Like it's just gonna fall out like that. There, oh, see, you see what I mean? These pieces right here, I don't know the name of those, but they're kind of loose, man. They just keep popping off. They're just not secure enough there. Once it's in, it's pretty cool. I mean, even the tail, you kind of like adjust it around, articulate it how you like, and it's all ball joint there. You can kind of give it a little bit of a twist. You can kind of point it up more if you wanted to, or point it down flat like that there. He's kind of hard to balance because of the legs. And if you're going to try to balance him with a tail up, oh man, you know, this thing's going to fall apart on me. Let's see if I can do it. Like he's running there. Oh, he's too heavy on the top, man. Maybe if I stretch his legs out like that. And you can see the feet. The feet on all these guys keep falling off. If you wanted to stand them up a little bit taller like that, it might work. And this is how I go poo poo. Oh, oh you want to make him like a dog? Oh, I don't know if that's going to work. Well, I can see pieces wanting to fall off again, this one, especially the tail bit. There goes his shoulder pad. See, it's on a single, single stud. It will fall off. Bend him over like that. Look at my butthole. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm in a funny mood today. Look at this thing. Or you want the tail straight out? I'm just gonna keep him like that. Dear, what do you think? <laughs> to me, like if it wasn't Godzilla, it was a mech robot dinosaur looking thing. I actually be pretty happy with the body part of it. It's just, I don't like the head. I'll hold him up like this. I'll cradle him in my hands like a baby there. So you can see if I jiggle him a little bit, there you can see the tail kind of like wants to pop off. Some of you might like the head. You guys like the head? You let me know in the comments, you know? You know what? You can sit you down. Yeah, you can sit down like that. So, you know, with these kind of sets, you have to be a little bit lenient. You have to be like a little bit willing, knowing that these things can happen. There he is sitting down. You can put your hands down now. So it's not too bad. The pieces go on pretty easy, but they'll fall off just as easy. There's actually another robot. I think it's Optimus Prime and it's from Sluban or Panlos. I can't remember. You transform him into the car. You brands, forget doing that stuff, man. Just pick one thing to build and keep it that way. There you go. That's Godzilla for you. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I like the colors. He looks, like I said, more mechy than anything. Like a robot doesn't look really like a dinosaur. And just doesn't look like Godzilla. I haven't even dropped him yet and he's already falling off on me. This is gonna suck, man. Okay, three, two, one. 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 At least he's still standing. Pieces are probably all loosened up. So what I'm gonna do is not touch him at all. I'm gonna slide him out over here. Stay right there. So this one right here, I thought was more pieces than Godzilla, but it wasn't. It's actually a little bit less. I actually like this one. I think this is my second favorite one. I like mini Godzilla, this one. And then if I had to choose, it would be Godzilla and then Rodan. But here you go. So this is Slupan's King Ghidorah from Godzilla's King of Monsters. B0785, 672 pieces. Look at this wing, the beast, as he flies magnificently, magnificently, magnificently. I can't say it through the skies with bits and pieces all falling down. And yeah, display guys, it's just purely display. Well, the good thing is it's got so many single pieces. If you drop one, you really don't know where it's gonna go. It doesn't matter, it is missing. So I have a piece that fell off and I, for the life of me, can't figure out where it fell off from. Oh, oh, I found it. Yeah, there, there it is. Okay, again, let's look at this boy. What do I like about it? I love the three heads. I think the three heads are actually pretty cool. They all do articulate. I like the eyes and the spikes. Oh, but they are loose, man. I'm telling you, these pieces fall off so easy. You can pose it the way you want. He's kind of sitting on his butt because he is very heavy. This one is probably the one of the more fragile ones, especially on the knees and the joints. It's got so much weight on it. Pieces will pop off. See, I can feel it like popping off already. Yeah, it's just not secure enough, man. Again, they're on hinges, so the heads might drop a little bit like that. You might want to adjust them a little bit. So at least he can stand, doesn't have to sit on his butt. 
I love the wings. I think the wings are pretty cool. Same deal like Rodan. It's got like this fabric piece, easy to put on, wasn't too difficult. And it has like the skeletal structure underneath. Matt's gonna suck filming this thing in close up. This joint piece on his knee keeps falling down. So this is held by four studs, but because you're moving it, I think that's a problem. Everything articulates and moves. And when you jiggle things around, everything just wants to pop off. Well, that's kind of cool. Now it looks higher, more menacing. Oh, there goes his head. And there goes his legs again, those pieces popping off. So now you see me playing with this thing, you know that the leg pieces do pop off easy. The body can actually separate from the legs pretty easily too. And I do like the color. I think the color is actually pretty cool. Oh, see there, that's where it separates. I'm actually glad that happened so you guys can see it. But yeah, see right there, it separates a little bit too easy. And even though it has like enough studs to hold it in place, it's just a weight issue now. So it's really top heavy. Chances are it'll just pop off right there. And I'm popping off those leg pieces again. So yeah, you might want to be just a tad careful with this build. And there goes his claw. But I do like the tail on the back. That's pretty cool. They're on ball joints. Those are pretty secure. Those haven't fallen off at all. There, you want to see his butt again? There's his butt. Yeah, so the major issue for this right here, this guy is his knee joint right here. So we're going to keep popping the knee. Pieces are going to collide with each other. That's just the way it is, man. And all the stuff will fall apart after it. It's like an aftershock thing. One falls down, the rest follow. The wings are also a little bit heavy, so they might drop on you. But like you saw earlier, you saw me playing with the whole thing. Display, man. Now I think I actually really am missing a couple of pieces here and there. Do I have to do a drop test on this too? Wow. Okay, I'm gonna fix all this up real quick. You know what, I'm gonna stop in this video now because I'm gonna keep rebuilding this thing. I don't know where, even where this piece came from. Now I gotta figure that out. <sighs> I won't get frustrated because I know I'm moving this around for you guys, but if you are gonna build it, be really patient, put it the way you want it, and just don't try to move it because it will fall apart on you. So there you guys go. The Godzilla series from Sluban, King of Monsters, King of Falling Apart. Now, like I said, nice display. They hold just fine. If this is your thing, they are available on BrickMeUpScotty.com, my web store. Go get yours if you want to, probably not. They are cool though, I still like them. I think they're pretty cool. They're just not really for six years old, like the manual says it's for six years old. Yeah, it's not gonna last that long, but there you guys go. Cool? All right, you guys, head till next time. Brick me up. You can do the middle finger like that. Why are you complaining about me? Huh? Where's your tailpiece? I'm missing his tailpiece. No, the whole video is ruined. Head, shoulder, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulder, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and mouth and ears and nose. Oh, there goes his hand. Oh. Okay. You know something is up if you see me doing stuff like this, trying to fix it and put it all back to normal. Can you do a moon moonwalk? <laughs> oh, there goes his feet. Well, I'm impressed. Scotty's actually able to make more videos. I don't think we really need to be here. Unless you guys want to see what we look like compared to these guys. Little Scotty, where are you? I'm right here, riding on Godzilla. But to be honest with you, this Godzilla looks more like a dog. Hey, you know what? Maybe this guy can help us fight the other guy like months ago that we're supposed to fight. Big Scotty, when are you gonna continue that story? Yeah, Big Scotty. We have to save some campers. It's gonna be years before we get to them. Big Scotty. I don't think he's here. I think he's filming another video. Come on, Big Scotty, more videos. Faster, faster, faster. I wanna see more new sets. Hey dear, I like your three-headed dragon. No three headed dragon. This is King Ghidorah. I adore her. Hey, little mini Godzilla, you're pretty cute too. You want to come on an adventure with us? Oh, yeah. All right, dear, we got someone to come with us. All right. Let's go find that creature and destroy him for once and find our campers. Where are they anyway? I don't know, man. I think it'll be a while before we can find him. But anyway. Thanks guys for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you want more mix and robots, let Big Scotty know so he can review them for you. All right, you guys. We'll catch you later. Bye bye now. Hey, wait a minute. Big Scotty forgot to do dimension on these guys. Thor wants a base plate. Oh, no wonder he doesn't want to do dimensions. 
We're never going to be able to measure these guys. They're all just fighting here on the base plate. Come on, dear. Let's get out of here. You guys get the idea. Man, just have these guys attack your modulars. Yeah, this makes no sense and they're just going to fight over each other. Anyway, there you go. That's your dimensions. See you in the next video.